Hey, this is Alex from Euclid. I uh, wanted to show off some parts we're making. Uh, they're pretty simple, but we're making a whole bunch of them on our Formlock Lady. So this is it. Um, essentially starts off as a DOM tubing in like 30 inch sticks. And we're just turning the OD and then cutting to the length. And uh, so we'll go ahead and I'll put the stick in and get it ready and show the setup on the inside. So, uh, as far as our tooling goes, we uh, set this up with gang tooling so our turret doesn't have to index all the time, again, because we're making so many parts. So we just have a boring bar uh, running our OD, uh, blade um, grooving tool that parts it off, and then uh, custom ground this uh, in, uh, countersink to be a left-hand countersink um, because our other tool, tool, two tools are running backwards. I uh, didn't want to have to reverse the spindle all the time. Um, so custom ground that and it's just breaking the inside edge. And then uh, last we have our uh, gripper. And so this is um, just air powered. It works with the collet. And so uh, we'll see that come up and um, it grabs the bar stock and advances it so it can keep running. And so essentially with a 30 inch stick we're able to run 42 parts at a time uh, unattended. So we'll go ahead and get started. So at the beginning of the program, the tool opens the collet and then the tool goes to its starting position. Then we advance the bar and touch it off on the front of the tool. That's going to close the collet and start running. And so we're running three parts at a time on a stack. So there's the turning the OD. We've got the roughing pass, now the finishing pass. Next it's gonna come in and do that edge break with the chamfer. It's hard to see with all the coolant. And then parts it off. And so we just do that three times. And then after that, the bar puller is gonna come and advance the stock. We'll try doing that again and I'll uh, do a little less coolant so hopefully we can see it a little better. Yep, that's about it. Um, runs uh, 14 cycles per stick until it runs out of material. And uh, just about done with them. We're about 2,000 parts and we're going to make a couple hundred more. <laughs>